Dear students, we were having an overview of the cognitive school of thought and the cognition process itself. Uh, so, uh, in this uh, video, we will have an overview on one of uh, the as different aspects of uh, cognition uh, as the thinking process, and uh, we will see that how it impacts the decision making of a strategist. Uh, we would uh, first of all see that what is the cognition and its uh, different aspects in general human being, and then we will try to relate it with some managers and uh, the strategist of the organization. So uh, let's have an overview of the cognitive school of thought and cognition itself. So uh, the rem remember first video in which I told you that cognition can be seen as confusion, information processing, mapping, concept attainment, and construction. But in this video, we will uh, have an overview of uh, uh, cognition as information processing. Recall this picture in which I told you that uh, cognition is a mental process which is highly influenced by the experiences, thinking process, and senses. In this video, we will uh, see that how cognition as information processing can be seen and how it is related to the thinking process only. So first of all, here we will only assume that cognition is influenced by uh, the thinking process and we will see that how it is used in cognition as information processing. This is a very uh, common phenomena. When we attend one activity, we tend to ignore other stimulation. What does it mean? It means that uh, on the daily basis, we have multiple kind of information uh, we are having, but uh, and all that information is uh, gained and attained by and acquired by our brain and it is stored inside our brain. But we try to uh, pay attention to only that thing which uh, is required by the brain at that time. For example, right now you are watching this lecture. You may be having multiple distractors around you, but you are paying attention to this lecture only. So you, uh, this is not uh, possible for our brain to totally ignore all of the stimulus uh, uh, around us. Uh, you, your mind will be uh, acquiring different kind of information and it will be storing uh, some information and it will be registering that information inside your mind. But it is paying attention to only that thing Thing which is required for this lecture, which is the video of this lecture, which you are right now watching. There are two kind of uh, uh, information processing models that are used in psychology uh, in explanation to uh, see that how brain process our information, how the stimulus are used, and how uh, the brain quotes the information and then uses it. So first of all, we will see that how uh, the uh, the serial processing and parallel processing works in individuals and then we will try to relate it with some managers. So uh, let's have an overview that uh, what is the serial uh, processing model. So this is the serial processing, uh, serial information processing diagram uh, which will explain us that how the serial processing is done. This is a psychology term. Now uh, let's see that how the serial processing is done in our brain. Uh, we will have an example. You are watching this video right now. And uh, this video is, can be termed as the stimulus. That is an event. That is something which is happening around you. So this stimulus is uh, going inside your mind. This stimulus, this video is now serving as an input for the analysis of uh, stimuli inside your mind. Your mind is uh, analyzing this thing that how, what this kind of information is and what is this video all about and all that information and it is quickly being formulated and processed by your uh, mind. So now this is analyzed by your uh, mind and this is served as an input in for uh, the storage of your mind. Now the store uh, is uh, having certain kind of registers in your mind. For example, your mind will be processing uh, this information that this video is uh, easy or this is related to strategic management, this is related to the cognitive school of thought. So you will be having multiple kind of registers inside your mind. So all of that information will be coded and manipulated and that will be related to this particular stimuli. This particular stimuli is the video in this case. Now this uh, is stored inside your mind and whenever you want to recall that information, that can be termed as an output. It means that whenever you will uh, require to recall of uh, that, all of that information, that will be decoded and manipulated for the output and that will formulate a response for you. And that response 
will be the final for example recalling this video in your exams so this is how happened in the serial processing when a single stimuli impacts your mind and it has certain kind of procedure to have an input to store that all of that information and then uh, results in an output and also recalling while developing your response for a certain thing so this was all about the serial processing now the second kind of processing which is uh, uh, told to us in psychology is uh, it's a second uh, processing kind which is uh, parallel processing now um, this is not possible for us as i have already told you that world is uh, very complex this is not possible for us to have certain kind of one information so as the world has a, a different kind of diverse issues and complexities so uh, usually we have multiple kind of stimulus we have and uh, we uh, face multiple aspects multiple kind of information which need to be stored inside our uh, mind so usually we go for parallel processing uh, the serial processing tells us that how one stimulus is dealt but in the parallel processing it is um, uh, very clear in uh, which will which we will describe in uh, upcoming slide uh, that how the parallel processing is done in the mind of a single person how it is done in the groups and then how it is done in the um, organizations so let's see let's have an overview that what is parallel processing so dear students this is parallel processing model which is used in psychology in the previous slide we uh, saw some uh, serial uh, processing model which tells us that if there is only one stimuli and only one event which is processed by our mind this is the parallel uh, processing model which uh, in the first instance we will see that how individuals use it in the first instance we will see that how we serially or how we linearly uh, pay attention to a certain phenomena and then we encode it then we try to store it according uh, to our own information and encode it inside our mind and then we, if we want to retrieve that information our mind helps us to retrieve that information and take decision and act according to that which means that we give response to a certain stimuli now this is the individual uh, level and this is also a serial or some linear kind of processing whenever we talk about the parallel processing uh, there are multiple kind of information we have in our mind and we want to pay attention to usually all of that stimulus which is not possible for our uh, fit, uh, for our mind so that's why we uh, try to pay attention and tend to ignore all other things and pay attention to only that uh, phenomena which is uh, under consideration at that time while talking about the individuals and the group of individuals when uh, they pay attention to a certain uh, phenomena they uh, pay attention to certain things and then they have they create shared meaning by shared meanings we mean that they try to draw meanings of the certain phenomena and uh, they come up with a common conclusion and they try to find out some shared meanings on certain phenomena on of which is under discussion then we try to whenever we a uh, individual try to encode that uh, particular thing in his or her mind then uh, when there are certain people the group of people involved then they frame the construction and they draw the meaning by framing construction we mean that uh, they try to find out that what is reality for them and they try to construct that reality this construction of this reality is subjective and this subjective thing will be will be discussed in upcoming videos but here we uh, must know that uh, when there are shared meanings the individuals and the group of people try to frame the construction and they try to find out some common meanings on them then they all store their information in the mind in their own individual minds and then they socialize according to that meaning which they have given to a certain phenomena and then they whenever it uh, that uh, retrieval is required and that is, information is retrieved by all those individuals and they take collective decisions when we talk about organization uh, this is a little different in organization level uh, as we know that organization is made up of people so uh, here uh, we will having a multiple group of people so as we have told about this in, in individual level that we have different kind of individuals and the group of individuals try to make shared meaning so uh, it means that this, we are talking about only one 
um, group of people. So if we are talking about multiple uh, kind of uh, people, multiple groups inside the organization, so we will be having um, multiple uh, meanings, multiple framed construction and socialized processes inside the organization. Please remember that organization also has mind, also has memory, which means that the culture is developed on the basis of that memory, on the basis of that mind. So uh, whatever is created by the shared meanings, by the framed constructions and by socializations between and among all the groups inside the organization, they all create an organization culture, organizational environment. So that is how the uh, information processing is done inside the organization. And there is a strategist sitting there who is uh, observing all those things, all those groups, all those individuals inside the organization and all the framed meanings and shared uh, uh, meanings and framed constructions and socializations among those individuals. And that strategist now tries to capture all of that information in his mind and make the decision. So this is how the parallel processing inside the organization works. So concluding uh, the third video of uh, the Cognitive School of Thought, uh, we must know that what is the information processing model uh, for the psychologist and for the strategist as well, and how that information is processed in the mind of an individual and in the mind of the strategist and in the mind of the organization as well. So cognition as information processing it plays its role. By this we mean that cognition is a process in which we gain knowledge. So by information processing we mean that how an organization, how an individual and how the strategist gain all of the information, acquire knowledge and understand that knowledge for decision making inside the organization, for making strategies, for making vision and mission inside the organization. So we must know that what is the information processing model, how they are developed and how, uh, what is the role of uh, those information processing models in the cognition, the thinking style and the scene making styles of the strategists.